Hey everybody, it's your old pal Chuck, and I am back with another review. And today we are taking a look at, from the Transformers Robots in Disguise line, this is Legion Class Thunderhoof, a very anticipated figure. Really supposed to come out in 2016, but, you know, as many of us know, that Wave 1 for the following year usually comes out during the holiday season of the previous year. So Wave 1 2016 toys should be hitting uh, your uh, stores right about now. Now, I picked this up off of eBay. Uh, it is surprisingly not available on Amazon.com as well as the other Legion figures. So keep an eye out for that. But this is a really cool figure. As you can see, um, very nice, deep, rich blue. It actually has a nice metallic sheen to it. Um, you also do see a little bit of the um, seafoam green there on the legs and the bright metallic silver. Um, in terms of articulation, you do have ball jointed in, in the hips and uh, a knee bend, but that's really due for transformation as well as ball joints in the shoulders. The one thing that really gets me is there is a head uh, articulation will swivel back and forth there but again that's for uh, transformation uh, the joints online in the legs are a little loose but I mean they're not the figures not falling over you know or anything like that transformation as with all Legion figures is very simple first thing what you want to do is go ahead and peg the legs together now the next step is something I don't think the instructions show very well right here where my finger is, is a little bit of a double joint that you want to swing down at the same time you're swinging up the hips on that uh, joint, on the lower part of that joint, so it can all, and then base, so basically the legs will accordion up and then um, tab into a little slot right near the pelvis area. Um, if you don't get that bar down in the right position, you will end up popping the ball joints off of the hips. I mean, they go back on, but it can be a little bit of an annoyance. Next, what you want to do right here on the side are little tabs where the uh, arms can just peg on in. Just like so. Finally, you got, the, you got this little uh, crumped up uh, version of Thunder Hoof. Um, rotate the head around and then fold down the rake. This actually has a double rake, which I think kind of interesting since the one-step version was able to just have that one rake and to double as the headpiece in both modes. And here you have Thunderhoof in its vehicle mode. Very simple transformation. You have a little bit of a black accent here for the windshield and then that's the claw. And of course you got the little scanning code. Um, I think this is really cool, and I'm a little bit surprised. You know, Thunderhoof is a really has to be a really popular character because we have the one step, um, this version of the figure, we have a three step hyper change coming, as well as the highly anticipated Warrior Class figure, um, which I think will be Wave Two 2016. Don't hold me to it. It's just that the case assortment I've seen for Wave One does not include this figure. Um. Oh, I should say this character. So, got a lot of choices here for uh, Thunderhoof. Uh, kind of interesting. And I'm not including all the non-transformable little figurines and what have you. I guess people love the Sly Stallone. But uh, just going back, rotate the head around. I'm just doing this for fun. Pop out the arms. Flip back the rake. You can adjust the rake to your taste. I, think in the, I like doing what the instructions show with the rake folded all the way back. Go ahead, unpeg that torso, swing that bar up, bring the legs out, and then just separate them. The feet are a little bit on an angle, so you do have that A stance, but, you know, very nice, very cool looking figure. Uh, really, you know, I'm, I've always been a fan of the smaller Transformers, because a lot of times um, I notice that they can put more detail in and a, a smoother transformation than the larger scale figures. I know a lot of people tend to be a little dismissive of these figures, but 
you know, that that's a little disappointing. Like I said, I got this figure off of uh, Amazon. I actually paid around $7.99, which is the retail price for it. Definitely worth a pickup. This is your old pal Chuck for Thunderhoof. We will see you next time.